good morning dear students today we are going to start the fifth module of ibfs that is credit rating see credit rating is also one of the important uh, concept of banking nowadays as it happens that every investors or uh, debenture holders or the fixed deposits were showing some pictures or uh, in the companies they are hired or they are given at the higher rate so when they are given at the higher rate and when they are provided the higher rate the concept of credit rating is very important the reason is the banks they are not going to provide you the ratings it is provided by some rating agencies like rating agencies they provide you some different rates based on some numbers based on some letters and by seeing that letters and numbers investors will get attracted towards the companies and they will start investing in those companies so a credit rating is very very important it is a sign of also called as the tr uh, trustworthiness and it is a uh, sign of credit worthiness also all right so a credit worthiness uh, solvency position profitability position liquidity position these all things are combined in one situation called as credit rating so every investor wants to ensure a safety of the investment so when a investor wants to invest in a company so what he sees he doesn't go directly for the profit he doesn't go directly for the balance sheet or assets or liabilities of a company he will go for the credit rating of a company right when seeing the rating of a company credit rating of a company the investor will come to know about uh, the financial position whether the financial position is sound whether the financial position is not sound that thing a investor will come to know right when you buy a product online you will check rating right similarly when investor wants to invest in a company he will also see the credit rating the credit rating agencies investigate the financial position of the company issuing various kinds of instruments and assess the risk involved in the investing money in them so the credit rating agencies are there in india those agencies will assess the amount of risk involved in the instruments of the company which the company is going to have a different instruments in those instruments what are the kinds of risk involved that things are been seen by the credit rating agencies similarly the credit rating the rating uh, rates the risk involved in the instrument and instrument of a particular company that may rank it over a safe or a very risky it will tell that these instruments are very safe right let us take equity is safe or a particular investment in the long term investment in infrastructure it is safe or the investment in some other sectors it is safe it is medium or it is very risky likewise the rating will be given depending on your need right some investor they want a huge profit they want to take a risk so they can go for a risky investment some investment investors rather than going for a, a low return they uh, rather than getting the high risk high return they want to go for low risk and low return securities so by seeing these symbols by seeing this Uh, uh ratings by the rating agencies the investors will get attracted and they are going to invest in your company at present credit rating is done only for debt instrument and rarely for the preference or equity shares the credit rating at present earlier days it was it used to be done to each and every securities right whether it is uh, debt securities preference shares or equity shares generally it was done for each and every instruments but now the credit rating is done by the company and the agencies only for debt instruments whether it is a debenture whether it is a bank loan whether it is any other securities to those things only the debt instruments only the credit rating is generally done in a current situation now if you see this credit rating what are the important characteristics of credit rating features of credit rating the important features or characteristics are assessment of issuer's capacity to repay when the issuer is giving you the certificate or the issuer has given you assurance that he is going to repay your amount then you should see that his repaying capacity is there or not 
if there is a proper credit rating the rating may tell you an assurance that this particular debtor or this particular person who the uh, the lender or this particular company is going to repay your investment amount right so it will assess your capacity of repayment right it will assess your capacity of repayment if there is a good rating it shows to the investor that the company is in good financial position they are fully liable to repay your amount right so that is the first important characteristics second is based on a data so a credit rating the second important feature or a character is it is not based on some assumptions it is not based on some estimations it is based on some actual fact or a data right a data of the previous years will be taken into consideration and based on that the rating will be given how it is performing in the year 2015 16 16 17 17 18 based on your previous 4 years 5 years 6 years the data will be analyzed after that only with the rating will be given so it is based on the data so uh, investor will get an exact amount of idea where to invest the amount right third is expressed in symbols rating is generally expressed in symbols so any person who even doesn't have more knowledge about investments or about investment in debt securities or debt instruments he can also invest in these securities because these are denoted or these are expressed in symbols like uh, some securities are there which are not good they are denoted as maybe d some other securities d plus c c plus right similarly b b plus a a plus right double a likewise it is denoted by seeing the symbols you can understand that a company whether it, they have a position or they are having a good financial position good repaying capacity or not because any person who sees that symbol they can understand it you don't have to go in deep and study whether what kind of assets they are having how much fixed assets are there how much uh, working capital is there that everything is not required right by seeing the symbol you will understand that this rating is good a rating a plus rating similarly done by experts the credit rating is not just done by some uh, people who doesn't have knowledge of uh, some financial things some non financial things no they are there are various criterias there is a various long process of credit rating that process is involved and the experts in the field of credit rating will be done right they are retired persons from some banking Uh, institutions financial institutions right and there are some persons who are having lot of knowledge uh, having about banking regulation act and various other related and policies then they are going to do the rating so generally the types of errors mistakes will be very less in case of credit rating similarly the last important feature or a characteristics is guidance about investment not recommended here they are not going to give you any guidance the next character is that credit rating is only a guidance to investor not recommendation to the investor in a particular institute instruments it is only a guidance some security they are showing you as a plus a plus it doesn't mean that this is uh, a guidance or it doesn't mean that it is recommended you have to invest in this they are not going to tell you like that they are showing you that this is a guidance this is just a uh, thing that it is showing you better result by their financial data by their past records by their performance this is the summary of it now it depends on you your knowledge your perception when you analyze again further you will come to know that okay this is a double a plus but i am not going to invest in this i will invest in a a great company so will understand this they are not going to give you any recommendation they are going to give you only guidance there is a difference in recommendation and a guidance right they are going to guide you they are not going to recommend you right that is a important characteristics of credit rating now what credit rating is not 
Now, what is not included in this? There are different things which are not included. Those are not for company as a whole. They are not going to rate a company as a whole. Full company is not rated here. They are going to rate only some of the instruments. Whether those are debt equity instruments, whether they are debt instrument, preference instrument or uh, equity instruments. Only those instruments are rated. Or they are going to rate your financial position, profitability position, liquidity position. So entire company is not rated. Right? Entire company, remember, is not rated by the rating agencies. Similarly, does not create a fiduciary relationship. When a rating is being done, it is not creating any kind of fiduciary relationship. Fiduciary relationship is a relationship where they doesn't have a relationship of mutual trust between the agency and the investors. Right? There is no necessity here, necessity of mutual trust and relationship. Right. Similarly, the third rating is third uh, thing which is not compulsory is not attestation or truthful of information provided by rated companies. Sometimes what happens that if the rating companies they doesn't get if they have not got the desired amount of data, previous data itself is not correct. Auditing is done, data is there. But if even after all those things, if the data what is being provided to the rating agency is not correct, then naturally the rating will also go wrong. So it is not an attestation. It is not a truthfulness of information if data is not provided correct by the uh, rating, rating company. Similarly, rating not forever. Rating of A plus or some good rating to a company, it is not forever. Remember, rating has to be done frequently. Maybe it is done biannually, maybe it is done annually. So, rating has to be done regularly on the regular basis. Right? 